There are four items on the consent agenda. Um, commissioners, do you have any comments or questions on any of these items? I think we were going to have Joe come up and talk about item number, was it four? Yes. Yeah. But I don't have any personally questions or comments. Okay, great. Joe, if you'd like to just come and present on item number four, we are going to leave it on consent, but Anytime I have a chance to hear you expand on anything is exciting. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioners. Joe Kellerby, Division Director for Child Welfare and Adult Protection for the Mesa County Department of Human Services. I'm here to discuss three grants um, that we will need board chair uh, signature on today. These grants uh, work in collaboration for us to serve our foster youth um, ages 14 to 23. The first grant is the John F. Chafee uh, grant. It is a federal grant. Um, this money uh, allows us to serve um, these youth through case management, um, some direct financial services uh, to get them into housing. So um, at times, rental help deposits. Um, we started using this money for startup kits for um, our youth to get into um, some stable housing. Um, the next grant is um, referred to as the 091 grant. That's a Senate bill that this money came through. It's also a federal grant. Um, this grant um, is titled the Foster Youth Successful to uh, Transition to Adulthood, which is why they call it the 091 grant. Um, this serves um, our youth ages 16 to 23. Um, it also uh, offers some rental assistance. Um, but unlike the Chafee grant, um, we can use all of this grant to help get our youth into stable housing, where the Chafee grant, we can only use 30% of it. So this grant um, really does help support those youth. Um, and provide some more money for us to uh, try to get our youth that have experienced foster care from 14 and 16 up to 23 to get them into stable housing. And the last grant is our um, Foster Youth to Success Voucher Program. And these are housing vouchers that really do support, um, again, our 14 to 23 youth. Um, the great thing about these housing vouchers is um, they will not take um, some criminal activity against our youth and can get them into stable housing, where some of our other housing programs disqualifies our youth um, for certain felony um, convictions. And so these housing vouchers allows us to really work with these youth, overcome some of the barriers, and then try to find them some uh, stable housing in our community. Uh, the total amounts um, are as follows. Chafee is 66000 and twenty-eight dollars. The O ninety-four is fifty-three thousand seven hundred one dollars, and the Colorado Fostering Success Housing Vouchers is forty-three thousand three hundred twenty, which is right around one hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars that we can serve this population with. That's great, Joe. Can you expand on where the funding is coming from so yes, the public the, can understand? Yeah, the federal government. So they, these are all federal grants. We do have um, a small county match that we generally pull out of our child welfare block to match that. Um, and so that's already built into our normal budget and the match is just a shade under 20%. So we'll match that, um, so that we can, um, you know, serve all of these youth with, uh, 162,000. Great. Thank you. Commissioners, do you have any comments or questions on this? No, thank you. It's great programs. Thank you for managing them. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank you, Joe.